What if I told you that after watching this video, you will know how to choose your chess openings, correct, for white and black? Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back! So, I will begin by saying that yesterday I played in the title Tuesday tournament in Chesscom and streamed it live. So, during the stream many people in the audience were asking me in the chat about specific openings, which, ma which ones I recommend and which ones I don't. So, the best answer I can give you right now is that it depends on you. Each one of you has a different opening that suits you the best. So you're probably asking yourself, how do we know what fit us? So first of all, let's try to assess your status in chess world. Have you just started playing recently? Are you a casual player who plays occasionally? Or do you dream of becoming a grandmaster? So the answer to this question will give us the foundation for choosing the openings. The next question you will need to ask yourself is whatever you want to understand the game better or, you, or if you just simply looking for an opening that will not leave you lost at the very beginning, right? In other words, you want an opening where you know how to develop your pieces and then hope for the best. So, you know, the last question and maybe the most important one that applies to all the levels is what type of player would you define yourself as? Are you an active player, passive one? Do you like a calm and quiet game or maybe aggressive and sharp play? So just feel free to write in the comments below about yourself what you answered to each question and why and you know I will be happy to give you my opinion individually okay so now let's take a look at few openings to understand the meaning behind what I have just said so I will start with the London system and it's very important to look on this particular opening so white is playing the move d4 and after d5 you're playing knight f3, for example, knight f6, and bishop f4. And as I can show you right now, white is playing, you know, very, very simple. He's putting the knight here, this bishop here, this pawn on d4. The next move will be e3, knight bd2, c3, bishop d3, a3, castle, and hope for the best. So why I'm talking like this? Because it's not matter what black will play, probably white will continue with his plan. So for example, e6, e3, bishop d6, knight bd2 for example, castle, bishop d3, c5, c3, knight c6, I don't know, for example, knight e5 can be possible here, but also just castle seems okay. Um, you know, b6 for example, knight e5, bishop b7, I don't know, maybe a3, maybe knight df3. So the position is very, very easy to play for white, right? We are just developing the same, um, the same pieces for the same squares and we are just playing and hoping for the best. We will play something around queen c2, rook a d1, rook f e1, a3 uh, for window for, for the king and that's it and maybe our opponent will, uh, you know, will fail for a tactic or did a blunder and we will win the game, okay? So this is first a uh, very, you know, like a simple variation in the London system. Let's see, for example, another one. If you're playing, for example, bishop f5, I place e3, e6, I don't know, knight bd2 or bishop d3 also. Uh, maybe you can take, I will take with c, bishop e7, knight bd2 or knight c3, castle a3 because after knight h5 I will the option to play bishop h2 and we will play, right, castle, knight bd7, maybe rook e1 with e4 and overall white didn't did something very very, uh, you know, like dramatically, okay, just develop pieces and 
quiet position, very calm and just playing chess. I really want to show you another option for the London system. For example, after d4, knight f6, knight f3, d6, bishop f4, uh, I don't know, for example, g6, e3, bishop g7, knight bd2, castle a3, b6, bishop d3, uh, bishop b7, bishop h2, knight bd7, a4, a6, castle c5, c3, I don't know, for example, uh, uh, Rook a7 with queen a8, uh, I don't know, queen e2, queen a8, e4, something around this. And as you can see, we already did 13 moves uh, in the opening and nothing went, you know, wrong for white or with black. So it's very, very calm position. White, of course, did uh, just the regular moves, the bishop here, the pawns, right, the bishop, the knights, so everything is fine. And... You know, this is very, very easy to play for white. And as we already asked ourselves, what is, um, you know, our plan and what are our uh, thinkful plan to, to learn some openings? Here in London system, the answer is, okay, I want an opening that I will not lose from the beginning, okay? Because... As you can see, if you learn the opening uh, London system, you're just developing your pieces. You, you never lose in the, in the 10 move or, or 20 moves also, uh, the first 20 move. Um, because if you're not blundering something, everything is fine, everything is under control and it's, it's fine. But you must understand that I'm not sure this is the real chess game. Because if you want to learn some, you know, middle game strategic, if you want uh, to have some plans, for example, in the Sicilian, uh, that we will see a little bit about Spanish, maybe, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe Pirates. So it's very, very tactic openings that we just will say, see. And the London system, it's really fine. Everything is good. And I don't, I don't want uh, to bring you the feeling that I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just don't like it. It's totally fine i'm also playing it you know like in the title tuesday i think one of the last rounds in the uh, title tuesday yesterday i played the london system and i won the game so everything is fine okay it's totally fine opening to play but you must ask yourself what is your plan what do you want to achieve from playing the uh, london system so this was the first part uh, in the london system that i wanted to show you let's see a little bit spanish okay for example e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 a6 bishop a4 knight f6 and this is the Rui lopez opening uh, spanish so overall i can tell you that london system if we can call it, this opening is, um, you know, belonged maybe to the calm um, players that wants to, to play like very slowly, develop pieces, improving them, uh, think about strategic plans, but, you know, to be very safe in the opening. Spanish is, is more than, you know, like to understand chess, to understand when we are playing in the, uh, in the king side while uh, black is playing in the queen side, very sharp, maybe variations, maybe some, you know, tactic, maybe some sacrifice, exchange. Everything is, is very, very interesting uh, for me, at least in the Spanish. For example, I can show you one uh, variation in Spanish, uh, like the Brayer, bishop e7, rook e1, b5, bishop b3, now d6. For example, in this position, white should think, okay, what black wants to play? And the answer is knight to a5 when the bishop is just collapsed here, right? So we are playing the move c3 with the idea of after knight a5 to play bishop c2 and also uh, to play the move d4 uh, to protect with this c pawn and of course to bring our um, pawns to the center. So um, after c3 castle of course a3 and now knight b8. The point is black wants to play knight bd7 with bishop b7 and c5. So I will show you some lines here, uh, knight, knight bd7, of course, knight bd2, bishop b7, bishop c2, rook e8, knight f1, bishop f8, knight g3. As you can see, some maneuvers here. And 
white will try to play in the king's side, right? While black will try to play c5, c4, something around this. So I can show you some uh, several moves here, a4, c5, d5, uh, c4, bishop g5. So as you can see, it's very, very complicated game. Uh, while white will uh, try to attack in the king side and black will uh, try to attack uh, something in the queen side. So, you know, the best players in the world, of course, uh, are playing also the Spanish opening. So this is something very interesting to, to look for Spanish. Uh, let me show you uh, one interesting line here, maybe after bishop b5, for example, I don't know, a6, uh, bishop a4, knight f6, castle and now maybe knight takes e4 the open spanish uh, d4 we are playing b5 bishop b3 d5 d takes e5 bishop e6 and as you can see also this position is very complicated because the position is very open right knight bd2 for example knight c5 c3 bishop e7 bishop c2 there is d4 castle very interesting lines here of course so much theory but as you can see in this position um, it's very very sharp one right because the position is open and white will try maybe to control the d4 square with rook e1 knight b3 knight d4 but black also may be trying to push c5 somehow so yeah also maybe f6 so really really uh, dynamic play here let me show you one more opening um, so you know at least i can tell you that the spanish is more than active and also strategic one while london is maybe all, only strategic one with a very uh, safe opening but also now i can show you something about sicilian for example e4 c5 knight f3 d6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes knight f6 knight c3 and for example g6 the dragon variation bishop e3 bishop g7 f3 knight c6 queen d2 castle bishop c4 bishop d7 for example h4 h5 long castle rook c8 and as you can see in this particular position white will try to attack in the king side while black will try to attack in the queen side so it it may be coming to a very sharp game who will win first who will attack first right who will ch put the checkmate first in the game so it's very you know like uh, one tempo game so these kind of position are very very complexity and I, I can tell you that in the high level i'm not sure that dragon is good uh, opening to play but for my opinion at least the the beginners and the players that just started to playing chess dragon is maybe one of the best because you can understand very good the complexity the tempo game right the 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 aggressive um attack in the king side while while black will play in the queen side so a lot of strategic also a lot of sacrificing the rooks the knights this bishop on g7 is very strong so it's really really great um you know opening to play uh, in the beginning for, for my opinion of course don't blame me after it so you know in this video i i really wanted to show you several opinions right several options how do you can manage to understand which opening is fit for you right this is uh, you know my point for this video i really want to to know um your comment about it share share me and just you know like i will do my best for you guys uh, just tell me uh, what do you think about this video just uh, press the like button also subscribe my channel see you soon in the next video it will be just fantastic maybe here the indian guys wow you must wait for it see you soon bye bye